311 games later, Christy put in the work and earned her spot on the field and in our hearts. And there's no doubt that she is one of the best to ever play in the women's game. Christy, even though you are a year late to Frisco, I want to welcome you to the stage to be inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame. Timing is everything in life, and my journey to success, yes, was very different. It started with a love of sport at a young age. Nothing made me feel more comfortable and better than competing. It's crazy because when you're in it and you're playing for so long, you don't really stop and actually embrace those moments, right? You're just on to the next, and so when you're walking around, you can go slowly, you can take a deep breath, and just, just remember the, like, the little things that got you there. Right? And like just seeing a jersey or a player's name um, that was so inspirational through that journey. Playing 19 years, you do forget little details or little moments and you're reminded of those moments when you, you, know, you see you know, what's in the Hall of Fame. I learned through sport that one must invest, establish, and trust the process. And that reality is life is not easy. However, without the challenges and adversity in sport at a young age, I am sure I wouldn't be standing here talking to you all today. It's been a long road. <laughs> you know, like, you, I put so much into the game, right? So you almost um, don't have that balance, you know? And the kids brought the balance for me, you know, in my middle part of my career and putting everything into perspective and realizing, like, hey, a bad day is a bad day. Like, you gotta go home and you have other things that you gotta accomplish. Above all this, I can truly say I was surrounded by powerful women who knew that we had to make sacrifices in order to gain greater opportunity for the future generations. To see growth in the profile of the team over the years and the opportunities that are available for the younger generation is genuinely one of the most fulfilling parts of the journey. I think holding up the 2015 World Cup trophy was just all instilling because I did it in a different way. You know, I wasn't leading on the field. At that moment, I was leading off the field and just kind of pulling yourself away and seeing that big picture of like, you know, I am leaving this game in a better place than I found it. And I'm, I'm continuing to help these young players push and they've passed me, you know, like they've experienced a lot more of their technical and tactical ability and they're in a good place. And so I was able to walk away smiling and knowing that I could sleep good at night because, you know, the game's in a very good place.